So in our previous episode, we did a lot of work in the process command. So now we're going to start to refactor line by line into more reusable code. Now the first thing that we're going to tackle is this blog's string. This is something that should be customizable. And now we're going to introduce a new concept to package development, our configuration files. Now you are familiar with configuration files if you've been doing Laravel development. So the concept of configuration files should be second nature to you. So in this episode, we're going to work to have a publishable config file. So let's start with that now. Inside my press directory, I'm going to create a new directory called config. And inside config, we'll create a new PHP file. And we're going to call it press.php. And this is simply going to return an array. And now you're used to this. This is a typical configuration file for any project. For now, we're just going to have one entry and it's going to be path and we're going to default it to blogs. So this blogs is what I want to read when I'm looking for files. That way the user is able to customize where they place their markdown files. So how do we make this work? In my base service provider, in my boot method, and let's add a new section here and let's say if this app is running in console, then we're going to publish some additional files. Let's group those together in its own method, register publishing. So everything that's going to be published in our package is going to be inside this register publishing method. Let's add that method now. And we're going to keep it protected. Inside this method, we're going to register any assets that can get published from our package. And we do that by calling a publishes method. This publishes. As the first argument, we pass an array. And inside this array, we pass in the path. And we know that this is inside config and then press.php. So that's the key to the array. So as a value, we pass in what the file is going to be renamed to and where it's going to be saved. So that's where we're going to use the config path helper. And we're simply going to call it press.php. Does that make sense? So the key becomes the path to our file inside our local package. And as a value, is where that file will get written to. Now to this publishes method, we can pass a second parameter, which will allow us to name this particular publishing. So let's call it press-config. That way it's properly labeled when the user runs PHP Artisan vendor publish. Let's try that now and see what it looks like. In my terminal, in the dummy project, so inside press-blog, I'm going to type in PHP Artisan. And the command that we are looking for is vendor publish. So PHP artisan vendor publish. And it's going to ask you, what do you want to publish? And if we look down here, we have our nice press config file. Awesome. So what we can actually do is type 14, hit enter. And we see that the path was copied from our package to our project. And if we look at this in Sublime, inside our config directory, we now have press and we simply see that it got published to our project. So back in PHP Storm, we can begin to replace this. However, I just want to write a quick little checkup here just to make sure that our user actually published the config file. Now, this is one of those things where if they read through the installation instructions and you properly write installation instructions for your package, they will know they need to publish it. But otherwise, they wouldn't know. And if they don't know, that means that when we get to this line, our process command is probably going to blow up. So let's write a quick check up here just to make sure that we have the proper configurations set to run this command. If is null. So with this, we're going to check if config press is null. And then we know that the configuration file has not been properly set. So let's return a warning. And let's say, please publish config file by running php artisan vendor 
publish and we can actually do dash dash tag equals press config and so by adding this tag then the user does not have to type 14 the same way that we did so that's a nice little shortcut now let me break this up into two lines just so it looks better and let's fix this okay all right so what I want to do is I want to erase what we did here this press file it's got to go because otherwise it's not going to happen so I've deleted that press configuration that way we can run the command again and it can give us the error instead so let's do PHP artisan press process and sure enough we say please publish the config file by running PHP artisan vendor publish and then our tag whoops looks like I mistyped config let's fix that now config I'm sure you saw that all right let's go back again run that again there we go so think of the user experience here right so they didn't read through the installation but yet we're kind of guiding them through installing this package properly so that's great let's go ahead and copy this and I'm gonna run that and of course we know that it gets published and then we're gonna go ahead and run the command and bam we're back to working great so now we can safely replace this blogs by calling config and the path that we're going to be looking for is press dot path and this corresponds to this so press comes from the name of the file press.php and then we're looking at the key path and that will give us blogs let's run that command one more time and we get the exact same thing awesome so we have our config file and it is publishable and we have a nice key and we have a great user experience even if they don't read through all the installation instructions that we're going to put along with our package we are guiding them through installing this package and eliminating any frustration that they may have great work